All right guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're just finally going to be taking a look at Harmony. Um, if at any point you're enjoying the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up or if you find it useful. If you're new here, I'm making a new video pretty much every single day um, or near enough. So if you're into sort of layer two solutions or you just kind of want to follow my journey, then uh, subscribe. So. Uh, Let's take a look at what I've been doing today and uh, hope you enjoy it. Okay, so taking a look at Harmony One, which is a scaling Ethereum applications in cross chain finance. Something I've been wanting to get into for a little while. So, first thing you're going to need to do is configure your MetaMask. You just need to add a custom RPC. I will put all the details in the description below. If you are, if you do just want to double check that though, um, then I will also leave the link to the setup instructions. Really easy, just takes one minute. And then what you will need to do is, I believe it's only on Binance. Uh, maybe there is some other smaller exchange. It's not on Ascendix. So you just come up, get get yourself some Harmony on Binance and then you just go to your spot balance, go to withdraw and we'll get our address, copy our address from MetaMask, come back to Binance and paste our address in here and then we can select the network Harmony 1. Okay, that came as a uh, little bit of a surprise. Um, so I can explain this now to you. Okay, this is how it works, right? There is an ETH and a one address for your wallet, okay? Okay, you come over here to explorer.harmony.one slash hash. Put in your address here. And search. Okay, so what you want to do is come over to explorer.harmony.one, come over here and paste your address from MetaMask, hit enter, and then we will get our one address. So we've got a different address, you can just check them both here, ETH address, one address. I'm not really sure why, but that's how it is. Click here to copy it. Now we go back to Binance, paste this address in here, and it's working. And we'll withdraw the maximum. Right, so we have our one in our MetaMask wallet. 247.85, and I am going to split that um, this is on Viper, by the way, which is the decentralized exchange. And I'm going to split that with the Viper token. So let's split that. What's that? 11. We need to leave a little bit of one for transactions as well. So let's just do, let's just do 11 for now. Just much the same. Um, the good thing about once DeFi, once you've done one, you've kind of done them all. And uh, you can add Viper to your MetaMask here, just click in here. Okay, and that's now complete. So now I'm gonna go over to pool and I'm gonna add my liquidity one and Viper max. Proof. Okay, and now supply. Oh, I forgot to talk about the fees. The fees are super, super low. Um, so expect similar fees to Matic. 
Um, let me try to show you an example. Okay, let me try to show you. So one to Viper, swap. Okay, so looking at the transaction on the Explorer, you can see the network fee is zero point many zeros. Yeah, it's basically free, like Matic, right? How much? How much is one Harmony? It's like super cheap. It's like only twenty cents or something like that, right? How many is just just nine cents? How many is nine cents and it costs you that ratio of nine cents? So just think about it. Think about scalability. You know, think about digital technologies, think about scalability and this. That's really bullish. Really, really, really bullish. And I like I like the marketing on Harmony. Um, kind of like this little video. Um, the website, quite nice, quite modern. Slick. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary, actually. But Matic is a bit... Matic, you know, Polygon is a bit bland. So uh, I'm hoping that Harmony is going to bring that kind of marketing side to it. We'll see how this plays out. But definitely, I'd say, um, if you're thinking about what to get into, it's not financial advice, but I'm thinking this could be a good one. So, yeah, I've been looking through these pools where you've got Yearn Finance, Viper, um, over 1,000 APR, 1 inch, Viper, 1,000 APR. And I'm in this pool, 1 Viper. I have often talk about this when I'm getting into new chains. Um, I want... I want the main token and I want the main platform, the main decentralized exchange token just to get myself started. Don't want to go into any other kind of side project where um, I'm open to impermanent loss. So back to Viper. Um, so yeah, the APR, 670%. What's that like? Almost 2% 2 a day. Um, 12 million in the... Let's get in there. Just much the same as um, much the same as QuickSwap or any other kind of DeFi DeFi protocols that you used to. So now I've deposited my liquidity pool token, and it should come up here. It's just a small amount. I'm just testing. I'm probably going to work out where I can pull some funds from to get in here because actually I'm. I'm getting quite excited about this. Okay, so um, the one farm we got on here is Moichi Swap, um, which is like a Japanese dessert. Very nice if you get a chance to try. Don't know if I pronounce it correctly. Um, and on the farms on here, um, take a look. Some pretty good APRs. Haven't really decided which one might be appropriate for me. Um, I'm probably going to take a look at this over the next few days um, once I can get some more capital over here I don't know if there's any charting yet it's kind of early in the uh, ecosystem there is not any loans platform like Aave yet so it's still early days they also got a Viper stake in here on the Viper pit if we come up here and go to analytics then we can take a look at some of the stats. We've got a liquidity of 19 million. Um, so it's still fairly early days. Started going in March. And the volume is very low today. Very, very low. What's the big tokens? Viper, one. Nothing out of the ordinary. And of course, the one Viper pool, like the one I got in, is doing, is got the most liquidity. Just about it for today, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed that kind of small introduction to Harmony, and then hopefully we'll cover this in some future videos.
Make sure you subscribe to the channel and if you found this video useful please leave a like and check out the links below and I'll see you guys tomorrow.